What's up everyone, this is CyberNet, and today we have some Yu-Gi-Oh news for you guys. It looks like we have some new cards that have been revealed from Legend Duelist 2 2, and if you guys haven't heard about this set, I think it was, was it announced last month? I think something like that. But anyway, this set is going to include new original series cards remastered yet again, and for this set, the ones that we have revealed and we're going to talk about in this video is that we have some new support for Pegasus, new support for Weevil, and even Bandit Keith. So yes, and all three of the cards they have for each of these characters are actually really good. So let's go on ahead and talk about them and go through all these cards because there's quite a few to go through in this video. So first off, we're going to be talking about Pegasus new cards. And of course, that means new uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict cards, basically, is what he's getting. So I'll edit in like the picture, a bigger picture of all of them so you guys can see them. Of course, the top card is uh, Millennium Eyes Restrict. That's one you're seeing at the top, the new Fusion Monster. It looks amazing, too. I love that artwork. And the bottom left one is Millennium Eyes Illusionist. And then, of course, the bottom right one is Relinquished Fusion. So yeah, those are the new cards. I want to show you guys like a bigger image of them. So let's go ahead and read off their effects and talk about them. Anyway, the first one is Millennium Eyes Illusionist. That was the effect monster, of course. It is a level 2 dark spellcaster effect monster with 0 attack and 1,400 defense. Its effects are, uh, you can only use each effect of this card's name's effects once per turn. The first one is a quick effect, and it is, uh, you can discard this card, then target one effect monster your opponent controls, equip that target to one eyes restrict uh, fusion monster or relinquish you control. This counts as equipping it by that monster's own effect. And the second part of the effect is, if an eyes restrict fusion monster or relinquish is special summoned, you can add this card from a graveyard to your hand. Yeah, that is one heck of an upgrade <laughs> for Illusionist right there. I mean, seriously, this card is actually really awesome. Being able to uh, target one effect monster your opponent controls and equip it to, you know, that could be Thousand Eyes Restrict, uh, Millennium Eyes Restrict, or even Relinquished, that's really good because not only that, it counts as their own effects doing it, so you're getting the benefit of their effects too. So that can be like a power up and all those different things for those monsters. So. That's really good, just being able to just discard it from your hand. Not only that, the part I really like about this card is it recycles itself, because whenever you uh, special summon an Eyes Restrict Fusion Monster or Relinquished, then you're able to add this card from your graveyard to your hand. And then, you know, after you special summon one of them, there you go. Again, you can just discard it, equip, yet again. So, that's actually a really amazing card, and I'm surprised to see such a big upgrade for a card like that. You know, I was thinking, well, they just brought it back to be, you know, part of the fusion or something. No, that is actually some amazing support. Then after that, we have our new Thousand Eyes Restrict, which is Millennium Eyes Restrict. And like I said, I love the artwork of it. Anyway, it is a level 1 Dark Spellcaster Fusion Monster with uh, 0 attack and 0 defense. It requires Relinquished and 1 effect monster to uh, fuse into it. Anyway, its effects are uh, once per turn when an opponent's monster effect is activated. Quick effect, you can target 1 effect monster your opponent controls or have in their graveyard equip that target to this card. This card gains attack and defense equal to the combined attack and defense of the monsters equipped to it by this card's effect. A monster with the same name as this monster equipped to this card cannot attack, and its effects are negated. So yeah, that is the new Thousand Eyes Restrict, and I gotta say, it's pretty awesome. Only downside is it really doesn't protect itself. That's the only thing that kind of makes me sad about it, but it does some amazing effects. I mean, being able to just target one of your opponent's effect monsters and just like, okay, it's mine now. You know, <laughs> just equip it to it. You're getting that attack boost too. And if you're equipping more than one, if you're using like Millennium Eyes Illusionist with this, you can get two equips basically from that. You're gaining some serious attack too, depending on the monsters you're equipping, obviously. And then if your opponent has like that same monster, one of the ones you have equipped to uh, Millennium Eyes Restrict, if they just summon one of those or have it on their side of the field, then it can't attack and its effects are negated. So if you go after one of their main monsters, there you go. You've kind of locked down your opponent in a lot of ways too. So that's really scary. I mean, that is a really good fusion monster too. And I don't think it's going to be tough to summon either. I mean, it's level one fusion. So you already know what's going to happen in that instant fusion. And then of course, last but not least, we have the new fusion card. So I think this will put out too. It is relinquished fusion. It's a quick play spell card and uh, its effects are you can only use each effect this card's name effects once per turn. The first one is Fusion Summon 1 Ice Restrict Fusion Monster from your extra deck by banishing monsters you control, have in your hand, or have in your graveyard its fusion materials. The second part is, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one effect monster your opponent controls, equip that target to one Ice Restrict Fusion Monster or relinquish you control. This counts as equipping it by that monster's own effect. Holy crap, that is awesome. <laughs> so this even reminds me of like Red Eyes Fusion or even like Odd Eyes Fusion or something like that because you're able to go for one of the Eyes Restrict Fusion Monsters. That account, that even, you know, means the original too, by the way. So you're able to then just uh, banish monsters you control, have in your hand, or have in your graveyard for those fusion materials. So that should not be a problem for you at all, being able to do it. Like I said, it reminds me of like, even like Red Eyes Fusion or, you know, those kind of cards, even like Shadal Fusion. I feel like that kind of started all this. Where we're getting these amazing fusion cards and... 
that's really good, especially being a quick play spell card. Not only that, too, you can banish it from the graveyard, means it's still usable then, and then you can target an effect monster your opponent controls and equip it to one of your eyes restricts or uh, relinquished. That is just insane, like seriously, that is a really good fusion card, so... Yeah, I think I'm going to start building something with uh, Relinquished and Thousand Eyes Restrict after reading these. Like, seriously, all three of those cards are actually good. Can't wait to try them out. Then, of course, next up we have the new Insect Monsters. These are ones for Weevil. And, again, I'll have a bigger picture up for you guys so you guys can see them a little bit better. Uh, the first one, uh, let's see, the top card is basically new Insect Queen. And it is ultimately a Mutated Insect Queen. Then the one to the bottom left is Parasite uh, Paranoid. And then, of course, the one to the bottom right is Super Cocoon of Evolution. So, yes, Cocoon of Evolution just got a new card, too. That's pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and read out their effects. First one we have is Parasite Paranoid. It is a level 2 Earth Insect Effect Monster with 500 attack and 300 defense. And of course its effects are, uh, you can only use this card's names, uh, one effect once per turn. That one effect is uh, Quick Effect. You can target one face-up monster, equip this card from your hand to that target. Its type becomes Insect and uh, it cannot attack insect monsters and negate all of its activated effects that target insect monsters. The second part of the effect too is if this equipped card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one level 7 or higher insect monster from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions. So first off, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like Parasite Parasite, I guess, is basically, you know, what it's supposed to be an upgrade of. Uh, you're able to equip it to one of your opponent's monsters, it becomes an insect, so I guess you can still go with the whole insect barrier thing, make it so, you know, they can't do anything. It makes it so, of course, it can't attack other insects, and that's what you're going to be using, so that's pretty good. And then also, it makes it so its effects don't work on them either, so... That's pretty good. Again, dealing with equip cards, too, so that's neat. Not only that, too, when it's sent to the graveyard, which equip cards are easily sent to the graveyard, as I know from being a Noble Knight player. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm not salty from that at all. But anyway, you're able to special summon a level 7 or higher insect monster from your hand and ignoring the summoning conditions. So, so that just means that is an easy insect queen. Next we're going to talk about is Ultimately Mutated Insect Queen. Of course, like I said, it's the new one for her. It is a level 7 earth uh, insect... Uh, effect monster with 2,800 attack and 2,400 defense. Its effects are cannot be normal summon or set, must be special summoned by a card effect. The first effect is uh, if there is another insect monster in the field, insect monster you control cannot be targeted by or destroyed by opponent's card effects. The second one is that at the end of the damage step, if this card attacked, you can tribute one monster. This card can make another attack on an opponent's monster. And the last part of its effect is, during the end phase, you can special summon one insect token, insect earth, level 1, uh, 100 attack and 100 defense. So, I mean, yeah, like I said, that's the one you can easily summon with Parasite Paranoid. Of course, I'm sure there's other options too, but that's the one we're going to mainly talk about. And it has sort of different effects too, where you're able to tribute a monster, let it attack again. And it protects your other insects too, by the way, with that first effect, so that's good. And not only that, it helps you make tokens. And we have Link Monsters now, so you can use tokens for Link Monsters. So that last effect is a lot better than you may think too. So this is a really good update for Insect Queen. Like seriously, everything about it is good. Uh, another surprisingly good card. And last one we have is uh, Super Cocoon of Evolution. It is a quick play spell card, and its effect is uh, you can only use this card's name as a second effect once per turn. The first effect is a tribute one insect monster either player controls that is equipped with an equipped card, and if you do, special summon one insect monster from your deck ignoring its summoning conditions. The second part of the effect is you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one insect monster in your graveyard, shuffle into the deck, then draw one card. Yeah, yet again, a good quick play spell card. So with this, of course, if you're using Parasite Paranoid, which you will be, then you can use this with it, you know, tribute that insect monster because, you know, that monster becomes an insect. So you tribute it and then you're able to instantly get a insect monster from your deck. Just there you go. So insect queen yet again. Not only that, of course, another card that's good in the graveyard, you're able to banish it, then target an insect monster graveyard, put it back into the deck and then draw a card. So, again, I, I'm stunned, honestly. Like, I really thought when I saw, especially new cards for Weevil, they would be cool, but not that great. I mean, honestly. And I now want to build this, too. I mean, seriously. Maybe I'm just overhyped about some of these cards, but that those are some really good cards. Like, all three of them, yet again, are really good. And then, of course, last but not least, we have Bandit Keith's new monsters. And I gotta say, they also look really awesome. It's a new Barrel Dragon and a new Launcher Spider, too. So... Let's go ahead and go through them. Here's like a bigger image too, by the way. The new Barrel Dragon, of course, is at the top. Desperado Barrel Dragon. Then we have uh, BM4 Bomb Spider. That is the bottom left one. And then uh, Gun Cannon Shot is the bottom right. And of course, YouTube will probably go after this video because I said bomb and gun in a video. So 
just get ready for that demonetization. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and start going through these cards and talk about them. So, first one we have is uh, BM4 Bomb Spider. Of course, it is the level 4 Dark Machine effect monster that you guys saw. Uh, 1,400 attack and 2,200 defense. That's some really good defense. Anyway, its effects are, uh, you can only use this card's name's uh, second effect once per turn. The first effect is, uh, once per turn, you can target one Dark Machine monster you control and one face-up uh, card your opponent controls, destroy them. And the second effect is, uh, if a monster you control whose original attribute and type are dark and machine destroys a monster your opponent controls and send it to the graveyard by either battle or with its own effect, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to half of the destroyed monster's original attack in the graveyard. So, uh, yeah, it looks like it's a little bit more of a burn deck for Bandit Keith. I don't remember, well, I guess he did do a little bit of that, but... Like, this is, uh, I guess they're going, going a little bit more with that theme, a little bit heavier with that theme, so... That's actually pretty good. New version of Launcher Spider, good defense with it too, and it's kind of just like is able to like self destruct basically, and uh, doing some extra damage to your opponent. Sounds like it's going to be pretty cool to use, and unfortunately, maybe not that fun to go up against. It's a burn deck, so we'll, we'll see what happens on that. Next one we have is Desperado Barrel Dragon, level 8 Dark Machine effect monster, 2200 defense, and its effects are if a Dark Machine monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn during the battle phase, you can flip 3 coins and destroy face-up monsters up to the number of heads. If all 3 were heads, draw 1 card. This card cannot attack during the turn you activate this effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add 1 level 7 or lower monster whose effect involves coin flips from your deck to your hand. Wow, again, <laughs> this is so freaking cool. So yeah, Dark Machine is destroyed by about our card effect. You get to instantly special summon this card from your hand. So of course, Bomb Spider destroys itself. There you go, you instantly got Barrel Dragon. You have that basically the same effect too from the original. It's just that if you get all three heads, which you're gonna have some serious Joey Wheeler luck from that. If you do that, you also get to draw a card. And you can't attack during that turn, but seriously, you just destroyed three cards. You know, at the best case scenario, you destroyed three uh, monsters and you got to draw a card, so. You don't really care, probably, at that point. You can probably do burn damage anyway with Bomb Spider and all the other cards. I'm sure there's going to be more, by the way. So, I, I don't see that getting in your way. And uh, not only that, that last part of the effect, too. When it's sent to the graveyard, you're able to add a level 7 or lower monster whose effect involves coin flips from your deck to your hand. So, basically, this allows you to use the original Barrel Dragon and everything, too. You know, the original uh, two dragons, actually. And then the last card we're going to talk about is a Gun Cannon Shot. It is a continuous trap card, not a quick play spell this time, and its effects are uh, once per turn if an effect evolving coin flips is activated, apply these effects equal to the number of heads. For one, you have inflict 500 damage to your opponent. For two, destroy one card your opponent controls. And for three, uh, look at your opponent's hand and if you do, discard one card from there. And then the second part of the effect is, uh, when an effect involving two or more coin flips is activated, you can banish this card from your graveyard, treat the result of all those coin flips as heads, holy crap. <laughs> I, I just reading that, I'm like, wow, that is insane. Like seriously, uh, I, I'm building all three of these. I, I'm literally gonna build all three of these when they're out. I might even have to do like OCG deck profiles because seriously, that sounds like fun. Uh, so yeah, more coin flips, the more damage you're doing, more burn damage, destruction damage, and even be able to discard a card from opponent's hand. That's, that's really good. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I don't have any other words to say. All, all the cards we're talking about in this video are amazing. I, I just have to say it right now. I don't feel like I'm overhyping them either. Like, seriously, I honestly want to build all three of these. So, let me know what you guys think about all of these cards that have been revealed. Do you like them? Do you not like them so much? For me, I mean, it's legacy support, so I'm always, you know, really happy about that. But I am extremely happy to see that it seems like all these cards are worth using. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This video has gone on way longer than it should have probably already, but... Uh, I, I'm really happy about these cards, and I'm glad I stayed up to be able to make a video about them. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Those likes are definitely appreciated. And subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news videos, openings, deck profiles, all kinds of stuff. Of course, all the info will be in the description too if you want to check it out for yourself. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.